everyone. So you probably received your bake at home hamper from Janice Wong Singapore. It's a specific hamper for you to bake at home with cupcakes, cookies and decorate it with your family and friends. So what we have here today is a red hamper box with lots of sweet treats and delights. And I'll introduce to you what every single item does. So you've got piping bags here that are super useful. Um, and also you can actually use it two to three times per piping bag as well. It's great for icing and it's also really nice for decoration for your ruby chocolate mousse. Next, we've got the chocolate chip cookie premix. And so in this premix, what you can do is uh, it makes at least about 30 pieces of chocolate cookies and they keep for about two weeks and it's great that you can actually use some of these white chocolate to decorate on top of your cookies. For the next hamper item, you have the cupcake premix. So in this cupcake premix, it makes at least 10 cupcakes and uh, I, I definitely recommend for you to eat it immediately. Um, it's so nice and warm and delightful when you have it together with the chocolate ruby mousse as well as the icing on top. You've got a couple of these bottles of cookies. We've got the white chocolate macadamia as well as the dark chocolate espresso chips. These are our signature cookies. Thanks. And this is a new chocolate. It's called ruby chocolate. It's kind of like the fourth chocolate. The ruby chocolate is nice and fruity. No added uh, flavoring or coloring in this chocolate. You've got white, dark milk, and now ruby chocolate. So it's really special. Um, I like to use it a lot also on the toppings of my desserts. And for the next item, we've got the white chocolate. It's a 32% white chocolate. It's great for decorating your cookies as well as your cupcakes. Now how to use it is you melt the white chocolate down and you have in this package also the passion fruit flavor. Add a few drops of passion fruit flavor to 100 grams of the white chocolate. Then you can add your coloring as well. So it's pretty versatile. You can add the coloring of natural yellow or also the coloring of red powder. Now these are natural coloring which are great for icing as well as chocolate. And for the next item we have the Douce Pros. These are fantastic for decoration because it does not get too soggy and wet and so basically you can put it on top of your mousses and your icing and it's fantastic uh, texture to your cupcakes as well. We've also included these mini chocolate crispy poles. They're great to have it um, immediately together with the icing. It makes the cupcake look so great and delicious. Now next we have the white fondant. This is fantastic to kind of make a lot of different types of decorations and you can roll it out, you can keep it for months as well on these decorations. You can make different shapes like heart shapes, flowers. We've also included an empty glass jar for you to store your cookies after you bake them. And lastly, we also included a whisk cream. We've also included a perfection book and this is really special because it's one of my first books that I did in 2011. And in this uh, hamper, you also have recipe cards and in this recipe card contains uh, all the different steps on how to make this uh, cupcakes and decoratives. Okay, so let's start cooking. So actually what you need is two bowls. You can actually use a plastic bowl or a metal bowl. Now one is for your premix and the other is to actually whip up your cream for the ruby mousse for later. And you need a spatula, also the whisk that is included inside the hamper box. And also a pot to melt the butter or you can put the butter into a ceramic bowl and then into the microwave as well to just melt your butter for the cupcake mix. And also what you need is an oven to bake the cupcakes or you can actually use an air fryer as well. A bottle or a pastry rolling pin to roll out the fondant and a spoon to spoon the cupcake mixture into the cups that is given. Or you can actually use aluminum foil if you do not have these cupcake molds. A baking tray and also scissors to cut off the piping bag and a knife to actually make the shapes for your fondant. So we're going to start. First, take your cupcake mix and place the mixture into the bowl. Then I'm going to add my melted butter, two eggs, mix it really well together until it's nicely incorporated. Take a spoon and I'm going to spoon my cupcake mixture into the cupcake holders. If I don't have any of the cupcake holders, 
what I can do is to fold some aluminum foil. I'm going to spread out my cupcakes and ready for baking. So this is an extra step if you want to put icing on top of your cupcakes. Now we're actually going to be making our frosting. Um, really easy, we've got actually 175 grams of unsalted butter and then 165 grams of cream cheese, 300 grams of icing sugar and also about 30 grams of milk. I'm just going to put all that in together. And then I'm going to use a cake eater, add the colouring and the flavour that you would like. And there you have it, you have the cupcake icing. So now we're going to be making our ruby chocolate mousse. So first of all, take your cream and let's whisk it together. Now, we whisk it until it's nice and soft peaked and this is how it should be. Now you don't want it dripping down, also you don't want to over whip your cream. Now if you do over whip your cream, you can actually make butter out of it. So we're going to gently melt the ruby chocolate, then add in the melted ruby chocolate. So we're going to take the melted ruby chocolate and add that into the mousse. And there you have it, we've got a ruby chocolate mousse. Now this keeps for at least about two to three days in the fridge. You can actually leave it in your piping bag as well. I'm gonna take the cupcakes out of the oven. See the difference between the textures of the air fryer cupcakes as well as the oven baked cupcakes. And then I'm gonna let it cool down. Now you don't want it too hot because the heat from the cupcakes will melt away my ruby chocolate mousse. Okay, let's start to decorate. So at first, we're going to put the ruby chocolate mousse on top of the cupcakes. Now this is how you should pipe it. Just gently in one punch, we're just going to press it. We're going to decorate it with mini crispy pearls and also douce pearls. I'm going to add a little bit of flowers into there as well. Next, I'm actually going to be taking my icing that I prepared earlier. And I'm going to use a star tip. If you don't have a star tip, you can use the same technique as we did for the ruby chocolate mousse. And I'm going to do a spiral on top of the cupcake. And you can create the different types of height that you want for your cupcakes as well. Decorating it together with fondant flowers and fondant hearts. Next, I'm going to take my fondant. I'm going to take the amount that I need and I'll store the rest of it back into the container. Then I'm going to be putting it into the microwave and I will heat it up for 5 seconds until it's nice and soft. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of that colouring in there, throw some icing sugar on the table and then I'm going to roll this fondant. The thickness of the fondant depends on you. I like to have mine not too thin because it will crack or not too thick as well because it affects the taste of the cupcakes. I will roll it out. I get ready my cutters. If you don't have any cutters, let me show you a trick. You can actually just take a back of a bottle, take a knife, and just cut it into the shape that you want. It's really nice freshly baked cupcakes using the freshest ingredients and also it's really fast to bake, easy to decorate. I, I look forward to hearing from you about all your creations and you can tag us also on Janice Wong or also Bake at Home with Janice Wong. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you!